Keep it your misfortune and none of my own. Keep it high, I owe. Get along, you little dog. You know that the ferry will be your new And now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. The famous United States Marshal is on his way to the mining territory near Dos Pesos, New Mexico. Whitey has already been in that section for a month, working secretly in an attempt to discover the gang responsible for a series of mine shipment robberies. He has written Lightning Jim to come to the Silver Lode mine where he's located, saying that he believes he has a lead as to the guilty party. As the famous lawman lopes along the trail, he suddenly hears the sound of shots mingled with Indian war cries. You hear that, Thunder? Sounds like an Indian raider sometimes. Let's go, Thunder! Dashing toward the sound, he pops her eyes to see a running fight between a lone white man and a small band of Indians. Drawing his guns, Lightning Jim goes to the rescue. Come on, Thunder! This way! Right this way! Come on, you maids of red skin! Let's see how we can fight against the two of us! And we better run for a stranger down we can! Run, run! Come on, let's charge them! And you've got plenty of nerve! I'm with you! Let's go! Here we come! Up from there! That's the way! Keep the horn led into a pair! Let it go! Let's get it! Let's get the break! Run, you red devil! Run! Well, there we go! Looks like they don't care so much for the case of hot lead, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, it don't look like I was bothering them any. Took you to come along and send them scattering for cover. <laughs> I'm Bill Warren, partner in the Silver Load Mine, and I'm plenty in your debt, stranger. Bad know you, Warren. Me, well, seeing as how I just come up from the panhandle, I reckon that's as good a name as any. Yeah, it's plenty good enough for me, panhandle. I ain't one for nosing into other people's business. Got any idea why them Indians was on the warpath, Warren? No, I ain't. Unless maybe they're part of that renegade band that's been robbing plenty of mine shipments in these parts. That sounds likely. When they want to get off the reservation, they don't draw no line. Uh, there may be wolf paws, man. Say, I wonder if that one over there is dead. Steady, boy. Wolf. Looks like there might be some life in him. That's so, I'm going to question him. Nope, he's dead, all right. Say, one. Say, this ain't no Indian. What? No, it's a white man just rigged up to look like one. Yeah, uh, then that means that, that it's on him rubs right off. Yeah, uh, it's been white man that's been doing these mine robberies. If you're right about him being part of the same gang, yes, but you don't know for sure. Well, nothing we can do for this one. Might as well be getting on. Yes, Hunter. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, look, Panhandle. I don't know where you're headed for, but I sure take it as a mighty big favor if you'd accept the hospitality of the Silver Load for a day or two. Well, Warren, it don't sound like a bad idea. Thanks. See, I'm figure on settling around just for a spell and mm-hmm. give me a chance to get my bed. Good, good. And let's get going. Come on, boy. Come yeah. on, Thunder. <laughs> While Warren and Lightning Jim are approaching the Silver Load mine, we find Al Brady, the other partner, in the mine office talking to Sanchez, the Mexican foreman. So you fixed everything up, huh, Sanchez? Si, amigo. Your partner, Senor Warren, he will not bother us again. The Indians, <laughs> they take care of everything. They meet him this afternoon if you ride back from those pesos. Then they go to Black Mountain Camp and wait for us. Ah, Good. We should get him to the point where he'd be in our way plenty. Oh, that is the way I figure. We meet the rest of the men at the camp tonight, no? Yeah, no reason for sticking around here no longer. The silver load's just about worked out, and we got plenty of loot from them mine robberies. 
We'll stir up the tug tonight and vamos. Well, you know, amigo, you are one smart hombre. The way you keep things to rob the shipment from your own man also, that is one fine piece of work. That way, no one suspects that Al Brady, partner in the Silver Lode, is also Hawk Brady, the okay. outlaw who has been robbing the mine. What did I tell you about calling me Hawk? Suppose someone hears you and puts two and two together. That sweet tall boy was around when you did it the other day. Well, yeah, that one. He's so dumb to put anything together. But there's no need for you to worry. Well, maybe not. But I'd sure hate to see anything go wrong now. I don't like... Who's that coming up? What? I will look and see. Yes, it's the horseman, amigo. One is a stranger, but the other... But the Now, ah, what is it, Sanchez? What do you see? Look! It is a ghost. The ghost of Bill Warren. A ah, ghost. You crazy fool, there ain't no such thing. Here, let me look. By thunder, that is Warren. Thought you said you had him taken care of. But I did. The man, they were to kill him like I told you. Now, ah, listen, since they slipped up somewhere... He's alive and pulling up in front of the office right now. But we cannot have him around when we clear out of here. I know all about that. Well, I'll have to figure something out. You stay here. Yes, please. Oh, howdy, Bill. Oh, howdy, Al. Al, I want you to meet a hombre that saved my life today. Sam Handel? This here's Al Brady, my partner. Howdy, Sam Handel. Howdy. That kind of an introduction from Bill there is sure all I need to make you plenty welcome. Come on in the office and send me the arm. I'm glad to, Brady. Just soon to take care of my horse. Oh, you don't have to trouble panhandle. Here comes Sweet. He'll handle him for you. I reckon not, Warren. I broke that horse myself. I don't let nobody else touch him. Hey, Sweet. Sure, Mr. Warren. Hey, take my pinto into the stable and rub him down and show panhandle here a stall for his horse. Give him anything he needs. Sure, I do that. Hey, you come along with me, me, mister. I take it up. Hey, Pinto. Hey, come along now. Come along now. Yeah, that sure is the fine horse you got there, mister. I bet this is plenty of that. Uh, uh, you're right there. That's the horse ever saw. What is the smarter, too? Oh, you can tell that by a size, all right. You know, someday I'm going to have me a horse like that, but that I have to see it, well. Hey, you can take this store right there. That's fine, Sue. Yeah, boy. Here you go. Why, the old son of a gun, I'm so glad to see you. You'll be in a minute, I see you, too. I'm going to get that. See, how come you came in with Bill Boy? I was just a lucky break, Wiley. Tell you about it later. Learned anything about these mine robberies? But Johnny, I don't care. Yeah? This fellow Brady, his real name is Hawk Brady. You mean the Texas outlaw? No. And since he's the Mexican foreman, he come here with them. What about Juan? You with him, too? I don't think so. A boy, and he discovered it's mine, and, and that Brady talking into letting him put, put up the money to work. I see. A boy, seems like it. I fell. Yeah. Yeah, Pinto will get the saddle off. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Got anything definite time Brady up with him robbery? Well, only that every time there's a robbery, yeah. Brady and Sancy is out of you from the mine. And they don't come back here for a long time. Yeah, that kind of ties up, don't it? Hey, you are, Thunder. Plenty of things for you. Yeah, what do you think you ought to do, mate? Right? I'll talk to Warren, get him to work with us. Then we can... Hold it. It's somebody coming. Yeah, there you be, boy. Plenty of feed and water. Thanks for the help, sweet. Oh, well, that's just my job, mister. <laughs> Glad to help you. And your friend, Andrew. They're waiting for you at the cabin. Suffer time. Yeah, uh, that's so. Thanks. Be right along. Treat that horse right, sweet. Oh, don't you worry about the king. I take ten to get care of him, you bet. All right, Sanchez, what is it? Why'd you think I need to stay here while they're going in these? For a very good reason, amigo. I know who this fellow, the senor panhandle, really is. Huh? What do you mean, who he really is? This panhandle happened to be Lightning Jim. Lightning Jim? Ah, you're crazy. But no, I am not. I tell him about that orchard is. There is no other horse in the world like that one. And I have seen him before, in Mexico. And how come you didn't see the marshal, too? When I learned who this animal belonged to, and I don't wait to see the owner, that was enough for me. And there is one other thing also. Huh? What's that? This Lightning Jim, he has the deputy. A toy out of Swedish armor. You mean you think that's sweet? Yeah, amigo. Sweet. They must be watching the last in the gap. 
Yes, yes, if you're all right, we got to get rid of him quick before it's too late. And Warren also. Do not forget about him. Yeah, Warren too. He's just killing them in and up. We got to put them somewhere where they won't be found or we can get out of this country. We don't know if is trailing at our heels. What about the mine, amigo? Did you think of that? Hmm? What do you mean, Sanchez? What's the mine got to do with it? Suppose the three of them were left in the mine and the entrance here was closed off with dynamite. Huh? That would do it, no? By thunder, Sanchez, you're right. And if we can get it over with tonight, the rest of our plans will go through without a hitch. Hey, you think you can get the dynamite charges placed and ready while we're eating? Oh, I see. It will be easy to do. <laughs> then get to it. I'll see that Warren takes the marshal into the mine after supper and that the Swede goes in after him. And once they're all inside, <laughs> our worries will be over. <laughs> Partner's nothing but a no good outlaw and thief, huh? That's right, Warren. He's Hawk Brady. And he's only using the silver load to cover up his other activities. Uh, dirty Kyle trying to have me killed today. I'm going right back up there and get things settled with Hold on, Warren. Huh? You ain't going to get nowhere of doing that. You've got to get proof. You've got to find out where he's been hiding the loot. And that's done. Well, I'll take care of him and Sanchez. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Lightning. But I'd sure like to handle it myself. Say... Hey. Why do you suppose he was so anxious for us to come down here in the mine? Maybe he's planning something right now. I reckon he is, but we ain't got nothing to worry about. But Deputy Whitey Lost will see that he don't get away while we're down here. Mm -hmm. That's two debts I owe you now, Marshal. First for saving my life, and now for letting me know about Brady. Someday, I'll... Wait a minute, Juan. Huh? What? Who's that? Who's down here? That's just me, John Hammond. Whitey! What you doing down here? Oh, well, you told Warren, whoever. Sure, I told him. But what you doing down here? Is it wrong? No, but didn't you tell Brady you, you wanted to see me? I didn't tell Brady nothing. But he told me to come down here right away. He, he said that Ken Hamer wanted me to do something for you him. You didn't tell Brady to send Whitey down here, did you, Warren? No, no, I had nothing to do with it. And it's a trick of some kind. Come on, we've got to get back to the service before it's too late. Sure, let's go. Hey, what do you think, sir? No, no. <laughs> You all right? Hey, you all right, Nick. I'm still in one piece, uh, I think. What about you, Juan? I'm all right, Lightning. Brady just stole our march on it. Yeah. He dynamited the entrance to the mine, and we can't get out. It looks like we may be down here permanent. <laughs> so Hawk Brady's scheme did work. Lightning Jim, Whitey Lawson, and Bill Warren are trapped in the Silver Lode mine. And Brady and Sanchez are free to ride the Black Mountain camp and get away with their spoils. The thrilling second part of the adventures of Lightning Jim will follow immediately. for part two of Lightning Jim Snares a Hawk. We find the famous marshal, his deputy, and Warren in the light of a flickering lamp, examining the tons of earth and rock that blocked their exit from the mine. How does it look to you, Lightning? You think there's any chance of cutting through there? Afraid not, Warren. Any other exit to this mine, you know what? Well, there is. I never heard of it. Yeah, let's start looking through it anyway. Take the lamp, and will you, Whitey? Sure, oh, you bet. Well, they found out somewhere who we are, Whitey. It sure was just so all three of us to be caught down here. Yes, but how could they have found out? Uh, what bothers me is that they did find out, and that's why we're down here. Let's bring up this old cross that way. Yeah, I'm not here to like 
Before this fool got the thing up to skin off. Yeah, I've sure been bad medicine for you, Lightning. Ever since you ran into me, you've been heading right smack into trouble. And now you're going to end up like this. I ain't ended up yet. Don't worry. You're still living, and so long as we are, we've got a chance. Yes, well, if you're right, Lightning. We don't give up until we got to. Now, this course got in, such a Lightning. There ain't no exit. Might as well turn back again. Yeah, all right, buddy. Lead the way back. Hey, hey, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. What is it, Lightning? You feel anything, Warren? Feel anything? No, I can't say that I do. Well, I do. I feel a draft of cold air. Yo! Oh, but damn, yeah, let's see a little empty. Yeah, and that means there's an opening to the outside somewhere around here. Why do you hold that lantern up high? We'll look around. Oh, oh you bet. There is. Yeah. Well, I don't see anything, do you? No, yeah, that air ain't coming from that side of the wall. Well, then try the other side. I'll look back here where they cross the air. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this wall is seems to be plenty solid, Lightning. Maybe there's an opening. Hey, some lady, too. I found it. Yeah? What is it? I don't see nothing that looks like an exit there. See that picture in them rocks? Yeah. Well, that's where the air is coming from. So, oh, but they have to just get to us. That's too small for a man to get to. Yeah, well, it won't be when we get finished with it. Let's round up some of them picks and shovels I saw back there in the tunnel. That picture leads to the outside, and we're going to work our way through. <laughs> Just a bit more, and we'll make it. Glad I don't have to do this for a living. Tell us your mind, you're a totally stormed. I don't know, Whitey. You seem to be doing quite well with that there pick. No, oh, I'm so sore, but I ain't cut off for this kind of work. Hold on, boys. Hold on, I think you're done. Looks like that hole's big enough for me to climb through, so I'm going to try it. Well, you're going. All right. How are you doing, Lightning? I want to be through, all right. Hey, try and get the lens, will you? Oh, uh, you push in that number, and yeah. I'll get this from here. All right. I got it. All right, Lightning. Here we go. That's good. One more, will you? The other side. Yeah. Yeah. Do you make it? Are you through? Yeah. I'm out, all right. Come on, through. I'll give you a hand from here. All right, Warren. Now you're going to. All right. Yeah. Uh, give me a hand, Warren. Give me a hand. That's it, bro. Hey, I'll have it. Well, here I come, boys. That's the way, buddy. Yeah. We'll help you. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that was easy. Uh, you see me, man. I'm glad that's over with. Well, there was it. Yeah. Looks like we're on the side of a hill overlooking the mine. Yeah, that's it right enough. Lucky for us, that rock picture leads out here. Say, what do you reckon we ought to do now, Lightning? We're going after Hawk and Santos. Oh, I suppose we got to. And I was hoping that I could get some sleep tonight. But I guess we can't. Not now, Whitey. We've got to get moving. We've got a good start on us as it is while we were down in the mine. Yeah, but how are you going to know where they went? How are you going to follow them anyway? Maybe they took all the horses. Yeah, the moon's bright enough to trail them by. The horses are gone. We just have to walk, that's all. Oh, if there's anything I hate worse than seeing in a pickaxe, uh, that's walking. But if I have to, I have to. Well, uh, come on, fellas. Let's go. <laughs> Now, closer to 15, I reckon. Could be just about the end of the trail, according to Warren. Yeah, yeah that's right. Now, their tracks led toward this canyon. And the only thing up here is an old prospector's cabin called Black Mountain Camp. They must be holding out up there. Better be quite be careful. Just up ahead. Yeah, they're the ones that better be careful. We got a score to settle with them. And I got to get fun in the back of no, yes, wait until I pay them for a very and tear on my feet. Oh, I'll give it. Oh, oh, oh. But I left Tumbert. I wonder if he heard me. Well, if he did, I know in a minute. Stand by. No, he heard all right. Hey, 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 hey. Look, buddy. Give him a coyote call. Oh, you bet. Why, 
right now. Well, just that big of it. Just that big of it. I know it's not Yeah, it's not a like that, I think. Yeah, but we learned something from that stumble way. We know they're up there. And if we know they got lookouts posted, that means they're trying to warn up a camera. Yeah, but we got to do something like this. It's going to be drawn for long, and then they'll be able to see us. You're right, Warren. This is what we'll have to do. Huh? I'm going to ask you to hold in down at this end of the canyon, Warren. And if they try to come out this way, they've got to do your best to stop us. Yeah, you can depend on me for that, Jack. Why do you? We're going to climb to the top of the canyon wall and look things over. Once we're up there, we can figure out what our plan of action will be. Uh, just the sooner this wind is to your bed, the sooner I'll get some sleep. So come on, uh, let's start the climb. Get a clear picture from what you're worried now that the sun's coming up. There's the canyon, with the cabin at one end and Warren at the other. No one half of the canyon right below us is the cut off for a man's tent. That must be where that shot they come from. Yeah, I think you're right, buddy. There's eight men down there. But I don't see Brady or Santos. Must be in the cabin. No one ready to make the get to the two by down there. See them pack both in the back of the cabin. They're loaded put the cabin. It's thunderstorm. Our horses are there, Whitey. We've got to stop them Jaspers from getting away. Oh, but how can you do that, Mike? There's too many of them pole cats in the canyon for us, then. I don't know, but we've got to get them out of the way somehow. And Warren can hold one end of the canyon, and we can get in the back of the cabin and stop Brady and Santa from leaving that way. Oh, but uh, how are we going to do that? Well, maybe it won't be so hard, Whitey. Hey, what's the matter? The old way out of that cutoff is through the canyon. And the side of the too steep to climb. Well, see that big boulder over yonder? Sure, I see it. Well, we should get it rolling down into the cut off. No, no, I see what you mean. Yeah. Maybe they would block off that cut off from the camp. Yeah. And if it did that, then stunks down there couldn't get out except for maybe one at a time over them rocks. No, and then Warren could take care of them. He sure could. Come on, buddy, let's get over to it and try. Well, that's just supposed to be big rock, like and I don't think we can budge. Well, he's got it covered over. Why do you throw him a chance? I'm going to try it. All right, buddy. Let's get a shoulder start. All right. I'm ready. Now, easy at first, and we'll see what you got. Come on, buddy. Stop. Here we go. Pinch the big gorilla. Yeah. Hold it. Hold it. Stop moving a little. I think you get behind it. Good. It'll go over. We can't let it shut it out. Now, hold it. Here we go. All right. I'm ready. All right. Than a drum. The only way out now is by climbing over them rocks. Yeah, but if you try that, Warren can pick them off one by one. This end is cut off. Now we've got to get back to that cabin. Mad Hawk and Santa when they make a break to get away. Question, Sanchez, but what that landslide's got them hombres trapped inside that cutoff. They'll find it plenty tough getting out of there. Oh, me, amigo, you are right. So what do you think we should do? Well, we can do one or two things. We can go down there and help them to get out. Or, or we can leave them there eh, and take the gold and silver ourselves, eh, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then why should we worry, Senor Ock? I always find it much easier to divide by two than by ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I was thinking. Come on, Sanchez, the mules are packed and ready to go. Let's get moving. You see, I am right with you. Uh, 
Put the mules on saddle while I swing the saddles on the horse. This is as good as done, amigo. Oh, you're long in Kansas Satan. It's time for you to work for delivery. <laughs> you know, it's been your walk, I think it. Amigo, what are you doing with that gun? <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do with it, Sanchez? But no, amigo. Why should you shoot me? Have we not been the friends, the partners? We worked together for so many years. Yeah, for too many years, Max. And besides, I just figured out that it's a heap easier to take everything than divide by two. No, 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 you can't do this. No. Oh. <laughs> well, that takes care of you, Sanchez. The horse can fly alone from now on. Now you get a saddle on that old man's horse and I'll be getting out of here. Get on with me, you black hellion. Stand still, let me get the saddle on you. Try to roll on me, will you? Well, maybe a taste of this quail over your nose will taste the better. Uh, that turf hawk can pass. Got that lightning, Jim. How'd you get here? Uh, don't matter, Hawk. Your game's played out. Don't reach for your gun. You ain't gonna take me alive, you. Oh. But I am gonna take you alive. That's why I only shot the gun out of your hand. Gonna listen to reason now, Hawk? All right, you got me. Now, what are you going to do now? Got to get over there and time up. Oh, I sure can you win. Come on, Brady. I'll tie you up with your own rope. All right, sweet. I give up. Give me that gun. Oh, no, you don't. Get out of the way, buddy. I'll take care of you. No, no, no. It's my sword. It's my sword. You won't like it when I... Oh, yes. This step will keep you quiet. You know, lad, you're less funny. Because they refused the Brady, so he couldn't get any sleep last night. Yeah. But now that it's almost over, the only one sleeping is Brady himself. <laughs> Which concludes another episode in the lives of those famous marshals of the Old West, Lightning Jim Whipple and Whitey Larson. Thank mm-hmm. you.